All right, thank you. All right, sure. If you can all bear with me for a few minutes, I'm going to change up the council meeting a little bit. I've been really thinking about a lot of stuff lately, and our city council has backed me into the corner. And, I, and, I, and I'm requesting the audience and council to remain quiet until I am done, and then it will be open up to everybody. Please bear with me. The media, if you're here, you might want to start recording. Sure, what's this under? It don't matter. <clears throat> Francis, here's your copy. WK, okay? Any other media here? <clears throat> As everybody knows, the media has received my four page statement. Please bear with me. In my opinion, as the mayor of Sunbury, we are in a crisis right now regarding our city police department, our city budget, and our city hall is completely in disarray and disorganized in a free-for-all with fingers being pointed in all directions instead of working together to find a solution. While our council is great with joining the bandwagon for anything positive it will help that will help them look good. They are also great at finding flaws of others, picking apart anything that is positive that doesn't fit their wanting, their wants, and rearranging the public's view from them onto someone else. Our city is falling apart. We also have members of this council who were part of the previous administration who were involved with the decisions and failed actions with a grant regarding our failed citywide camera system and are trying to push the blame onto others as well. It is time for accountability and it's my duty to speak up about what is truly going on. I am already foreseeing the backlash from our council for speaking to all of you. In my opinion, when I try to be open and transparent in order to keep the public aware of what is going on, our city council members find a way to manipulate words and actions to fit their own agendas and to get the public's eye off of them and onto someone else to take the blame. I will not allow our city council to continue to use me or anyone else as the personal scapegoat any longer. I was elected by the people to serve the people, and that is what I am doing. I support our city, and I support our police department, but I do not support the current actions of our city council. I am not a business owner, nor my landlord, as other council members are, and I have put on hold my future goals and career in order to be the mayor of Sunbury. I ran for this position because the city deserves someone that will give their 100% and benefit the city and not themselves. During my first few months in office, I made real attempts to develop professional and personal working relationships with our council members by going to events and socializing with them in the office and out in the public. Perhaps I placed too much importance on that in listening to them and not as much into our city by releasing information as I should have. I am only one person on this council, and I am truly an ally for our city and all people here. I felt that it was important to try and socialize and get along with our council in the beginning, and I still will continue to try and work with them. They clearly and publicly do not have the same interest and have shown their unwillingness to accept me as a member of the team. Not everyone must like everyone and be best of friends but we must work together during our official capacity for the best interests of our city and not ourselves, and that is currently not happening here in Sunbury. In my opinion, 
Our council continues to fuel negativity, which causes turmoil and stress while, while our city is circling the drain. Our council is more worried about trying to push one guy out of office who the council feels is a threat to their current established regime and who is trying to be transparent and represents a positive change to our city. Sunbury deserves better than what is currently being given and I apologize to our residents, our visitors, and our police force for all the negativity that is surrounding our city, especially by all of our elected officials, myself included. During this time of crisis that our city is facing, we should be showing that we are united and not divided and pushing out as much positive that our city has in order to help maintain our city's morale and showcase that we will overcome all that is going on. A section of a previous statement of mine to WKOK with exact words. Tim Miller is under a signed contract with the salary and benefits that Mayor Dave Persing, Rick Reichner, Beth Kramer, Jim Eister, and Dale Henry all voted 5-0 and approved at a council meeting in 2016. Tim Miller will remain on the city's current budget for the remainder of the year and we must budget accordingly for 2019 until April 30th. In January of this year, we renewed Tim Miller's contract as a sign of good faith and his salary was not affected. The council's release statement in the mayor's statement, he said Tim Miller would remain on the city's budget until 2019 due to a contract that was given to Miller by former council members and former Mayor Dave Person. Earlier this year, Mayor Kurt or Mayor Carlovich decided to meet to renew the contract with new terms and conditions. In my opinion, their combined statement is incorrect and manipulative. The employment agreement in 2016, which was approved by the previous administration, which three of our current council members were, was in effect and was the reason how 2018 was budgeted before I became mayor, hence Tim Miller's current salary. During January of this year, Tim Miller did approach me about changing his employment agreement in order to show the public that we were working together and council was well aware of this during the process. I am one person out of five and one equal vote on this council. For them to suggest or imply that I have done this on my own clearly shows that they are insulting your intelligence because they are assuming you do not understand the laws and rules that we must abide by. No one person on our council could ever enact an official city contract on their own without a majority vote by council to accept it. The original employment agreement was voted and accepted by council in December of 2016 and became effective in January 2017 for a period of four years ending in 2020. And the January 2018 employment agreement was in place for a period of three years ending in 2020 as to not change the length of time from the original agreement. Yes, Tim Miller is under the same salary as the previous administration approved because the salary remained exactly the same as the original agreement. His benefits also remain the exact same except for the addition of a $200 monthly travel allowance which replaced the use of a city-owned vehicle to take home Due to, due to him not living close to our city. He is no longer receiving the travel allowance. The original agreement also allowed a lump sum payment of salary if something were to happen to his employment with us. We agreed to change it in the new agreement to being paid in bi-weekly payments instead of a lump sum. Council approved the updated agreement on January 22nd of this year during a public council meeting with Councilman Eister moving to pass the resolution and seconded by Councilwoman Kramer, followed by unanimous yes vote. I am respecting and honoring the settlement agreement that all of our council unanimously voted yes to accept and will not comment any further regarding such.
Council's recent statement was that it is illegal to delete things from my public mayor's page. In the beginning of the year, I was approached by Councilman Eister in the city clerk's office and was at, at and I was asked to delete any postings that re referenced him in any way off my mayor's page. I said okay, and I deleted the postings that referenced him out of respect due to him asking. In my opinion, at that time, he either knew that it was illegal and was trying to get me to unknowingly break the law, or he did not know, and when he did find out, he did not approach me to make sure I knew it could no longer be done. I did not, I did not know that I was not allowed to delete my postings off my mayor's Facebook page that I personally posted. The deletion was not meant to censor anyone as I represent and support transparency in our government, and our council never approached me about this to make sure I knew. I have now looked into this topic, which is extremely new, and it does seem that with me being an elected public official with a public account, it means I may not be allowed to delete information that is posted on the account. I am moving forward and nothing will be deleted from my public page so that nobody feels that they're being censored in any way because that is not my agenda. The public's input is extremely important to me and if you go to my public page, you'll be able to view many negative comments that have been written by the public and are still there because the public's input is important. In my opinion, our council members from the very beginning have been trying to find a way of keeping me out of the decisions and business of Sunbury, especially with our Sunbury Police Department, and try to destroy my reputation. I feel that with my military police background, combat experience, and a bachelor's degree in criminal justice makes me more experienced than our council members with learning and understanding what our police department needs and goals should be for the safety of our city. In my opinion, I am the only member on our city council that truly supports our police department. I have talked with all of our officers, I have done ride-alongs, and I want to see it succeed and hire new officers because our city cannot continue with only five officers in our department. I have a screenshot from July 5th of a text message that in my opinion, Councilwoman Kramer unknowingly sent to a group text which involved all council members when she thought she was only texting Councilman Rick Reichner because he was the last to respond to a previous discussion on a different matter. In my professional opinion, as your mayor, their combined agenda is to disband the police force and they are using our lack of officers right now to fuel their own personal goals. Councilman Chris Reese, since January, has been discussing with and trying to persuade our council and myself why we should disband the Sunbury Police Force and bring in the state police for coverage. I do not support his plan of disbanding our police force, which means the removal of the Sunbury Police Department. If we only receive state police coverage, would mean that a majority of the police calls would go unanswered and the coverage would take one to two hours or even longer for response. The size of Sunbury and the amount of calls and trouble that we currently have here would not be able to handle not having our own police force and it would further risk great safety to our city, yes. our residents and visitors if it were to happen. In my opinion, the morale of our city employees is also at an all-time low. We have city employees in different departments that are afraid to speak up about the truth and actions of certain council members due to the risk of losing their jobs. Our city employees deserve to be treated better than what they are and have been receiving by some of our current council members. It is absolutely sickening that some of our city employees feel they cannot discuss how they are treated or what is happening because they know that majority of the council is a group that will stand by one another and will fire the employee for speaking up against them. As I have stated, as I have stated pre repeatedly since I have been in office, I have faith in our city 
our police department, and the public. And I truly hope that all of our council can put aside their differences and move forward for the best interests of our city and work together as a team and not try to divide us further than we already are by nitpicking. Only you, the public, can truly make a difference and bring about the change that is needed for our city to succeed and survive. I call upon you, the public, to continue coming to our city council meetings, be engaged in our city, pay attention to what is truly happening, and make your decisions, and bring the change that is desperately needed to the polls. If this statement is viewed by our council as it is me not wanting to get along, I apologize, and that is not the case. We are at a critical turning point in the history of Sunbury. The reality is, as of right now, all I am able to do is defend myself from our council while trying to protect our city's best interest and bring you the information and call attention to what is really happening in City Hall because it is my opinion that the members of our council will continue to try and block me every step of the way. Copies of this statement are made available to all members of the press and to the public. Thank you. Thank you. 